So before I say anything, it could be the case that you already know the results because I am recording this on Thursday. Uh, but if it is the case that the results hold as they currently are at the time I film this, then Donald Trump will lose. But I want you to know that this doesn't necessarily mean that it will be the end of Trumpism. For now, it may be the end of the Trump era, but since Trump has been so popular within the Republican Party, I think that his style of politics is going to live on. But it might not even be the end of Donald Trump because we are already seeing talks of Donald Trump running in 2024 before the results have been posted and before he's even conceded. Take a look. One other thing I want to note, Jake, and I think this is an indication of where things are heading uh, and, and the mentality that is taking shape inside the Trump campaign. There are some aides and advisors who are starting to talk about the potential, not only that the president is going to lose this election, but that he may mount some sort of resurrection run in 2024. Uh, this possibility has been discussed, I'm told, inside the Trump campaign by some aides and advisors, and that some have even talked about it with the president himself. That obviously is, is something that's way off into the future, but it's an indication that they're starting to feel like perhaps they're running out of time inside the Trump campaign, Jake. So um, that was interesting. I don't necessarily find it surprising, albeit it's still very interesting. Now, this does tell us that Donald Trump, regardless of what he says publicly, is reckoning with the fact that he may lose this election. So he can uh, tout his victories in states that have already been called for Joe Biden. He can claim that fraud was committed, but deep down, he knows he lost because he ran a terrible campaign. He bungled a pandemic, something that comes along once every 100 years, and he didn't even try to put up a facade and act like a grown-up. This was his loss. So he knows that he's losing. It's sad that more of his supporters don't realize that everything he's doing now is all strategic and it's just bluster, but nonetheless, he does know. Um, now, whether or not this is true, it is. Because if people within Trump's inner circle, his advisors, are saying this, then, you know, it's happening. I don't know if they're putting this idea in his head or he's putting this idea in their head, but, you know, they're going to be gung-ho on this because they really want to make sure they have a job lined up for them in a couple of years. So, of course, they're going to be on board. But Donald Trump, do we honestly believe that Donald Trump, being as attention-craved uh, as he is, he would just, like, go away? Of course not. So, I was already thinking, if he loses this, even before this article came out, What's the odds that he runs for re-election? And I put it at like 40%. And now I'm moving that up to 60% because we're already hearing about it before he's conceded. So Donald Trump is uh, not going to go away anytime soon. And, you know, he can run. He's legally, constitutionally within his right to seek out a second term. Now, what will be interesting is that there will be a lot of Republicans who will be very angry about this who are politically ambitious, people like Ted Cruz, Tom Cotton, who want to run again, and they're going to have the inclination to attack Donald Trump for doing this, for wanting to run again after he lost. However, they're going to have to bite their tongue because they know that if Donald Trump uh, decides to run, he's going to be very popular. Very popular because the base loves him. Now, I don't know if that will change between now and 2024. This is, you know, we're talking long, a long ways away, uh, but... <laughs> It'll be interesting to see the dynamic in the Republican Party because uh, they will not want this. I don't think the Republican establishment will want this, and I don't think any uh, Republican who wants to run for president is going to want this. But will they publicly attack Donald Trump? Don't think so, because now they're going to have to pretend to be the next Donald Trump if they want to be electorally successful in the next Republican Party primary. Ted Cruz, you know, he's already trying to position himself as this, like, uh, off-the-cuff, edgy outsider who's an agitator who, you know, clowns on liberals on social media. But uh, you can't be the next Trump while you're attacking Donald Trump because there's only one Donald Trump. So if your argument was going to be, I'm going to carry Donald Trump's torch, that's a little bit more complicated. You can't necessarily do that if he's running for president. So, look, um, this is a long ways away, but it will be very entertaining at least if Donald Trump is uh, going to seek out a second term in 2024. You could support the Humanist Report at Patreon. 
dot com slash humanist report. But trust me, I'd have way more supporters on Patreon if that was my podcast. Sad. <laughs>